Okay, look, this is actually going to be very short. Well, it's not going to be that short, but it's going to be short because I'm putting on my glasses real quick like that. No, this is not a advertisement for Core Water, Core Hydration brand I found in New York. Actually, I like the bottle a lot, you know, but we are going to get to the core of the matter. Let's just see. Pour me some water. Hey, need to hydrate, man. Put this down there. Look. As you may or may not know, I, I, I check out Kaiser Report all the time. Since 2014, I've been checking Kaiser Report. And there was this guy on there talking about the presidential candidate, blah, 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 blah. And I uh, know he said something about, uh, about Tulsi Gabbard and the military wasn't enough. There's something else about Andrew Yang and something about the whatever, whatever. But I just want to focus on the, on, the, on the military thing. See, the problem with the military budget, I think, has little to do with the military budget exactly. It's, 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 it's who... You know, when you put out a country, who that budget goes to, who that money goes to, it goes to such a few people, and those few people have the ability to keep wars going and blah, 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 blah. So that's why the military budget has to be, I don't want to say attacked, we are attacked, whatever it is. That's why I really think Tulsi is the best, you know, in that area. Everybody else sort of stands down. They, they go, oh, the generals, but the, the, the. I'm about to go to the VA. I'm telling you, the VA, the people, no, I'm going to get into it, but, but if you're a veteran, you understand what the deal is, you know, in terms of like respect for generals, whatever. You respect for some people, you know, but a lot of them don't. It's all politics anyway. But the point really is, what we need to stop is is is, the, is even if you're going to use that that military budget, which is supposed to be a fraction of what our problem is, that what we really need to do is make sure that's just distributed or or or. or deployed in such a way that those few people that's making the arms, whatever have you, don't have more sway than everybody else. That's one thing. Then another thing this guy was saying was about the biggest thing is the health insurance and the pharmacy, and that is absolutely true. This is why Medicare for War is so important. And, uh, but, da, 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 da. so you figure out what you want to do. Anyway, I just need to get that out, because I'm back in New York for just a few, couple of days, and I gotta go to St. Louis. And that's a little what I have to do, I being me. T from the Patterson's taking the train just a bit, letting you know what I only suspect from a desk, a reality of the ADOS. That would be the uh, American, North American descendants of chattel slavery. <laughs>